Hello St. Thomas. We're sailing in past the silver moon, gliding into port. Good, Good morning. morning from St. Thomas. We're here. Yes, we are like getting tied yeah. up. It's about a half hour till we're supposed to be able to go ashore. And we got to get some food in us. Yeah. We have an adventure planned we for do. today. Big day. Mm-hmm. We are finally taking the leap. Well, we have a 12-hour <laughs> port day today. And trying to make it to St. John. Yay! We've been wanting to do that forever, but the timing just never worked out. We feel comfortable today trying it uh, and showing you guys how to do it if you have a long time. So, yeah. yeah. So we are in from what, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try to do it on our own. Mm -hmm. It requires a taxi to a ferry to another taxi and then in reverse. <laughs> but we've never done it before. No. Let's learn some stuff. I think it'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's beginning to look at that. Like Christmas. Hey, it's our first time visiting World Fresh Marketplace, isn't it? We got a few pastries and smoothies greeting us as we enter. That's right, it's these kind of buffet lines over to the side with that central grab and go section. Looks like we've got bagel type solutions, meats and cheese. Making our way down here to the good stuff. Oatmeal, eggs, sausages, oh, kanji. <laughs> Here's the big fancy pastry room leading up to a coffee shop. Looks like this is one where they have to come serve you these pastries. Well, we snacked some food. There was a whole central area of the buffet I didn't get to record because um, it was crazy in there. Anyway, we've located some seating outside. Oops, so we can eat overlooking St. Thomas. Scotland says it's safe to secure alongside her birth and we have received clearance from the local authorities for guests to proceed ashore. Welcome to the Haven Site Pier. And immediately as soon as you clear the gate, they ask where you want to go and off you go. That is handy though, so literally as soon as you come through the fence, boom, you got folks in blue shirts, the gentleman over there in a yellow shirt was the dispatcher, so they are ready to greet you with taxis. Wahoo! And we're off. I dropped off here across the street from the entrance okay. to the terminal. Ran across the street. Let's see what we can learn. So $15 per person per way. I'd say allow, you know, 20, 30 minutes for the ride. It was probably closer to the 15 or 20 side for us today. We're going to make our way up to this building here, presuming that is the ferry terminal. Like I said, we're learning as we go today. <laughs> USVI Port Authority. Looks like we are in luck. All right, I hopped online and bought our tickets, so we get to skip that line. I guess we get to come up here to the boarding line now. Well, we are gonna make the 11 a.m. ferry, which I thought we were gonna have to wait till noon. We're all settled in. We got nice vents blowing air conditioning. Wahoo! We have now set foot on all four of the major U.S. Virgin Islands. We have hit St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix, and Water Island. Woo. There's the ticket booth for when we come back. Lots of taxi opportunities up here, which we will take advantage of. We just showed up, told them Trunk Bay, and they said $9 each. I know they said there's probably some haggling you can do, but hey. Yes, now we get Safari Truck Ride 2.0. To Trunk Bay Beach, Virgin Islands National Park. Yeah, I think we have to come here to this line. Yeah, they've got like an admission fee here. So do not stand on coral, do not pick anything up. All right, we can do that. So yeah, it looks like it's $5 per person right now for what they call their expanded amenity fees. Uh-oh. 
They're having heavy surf today. They're not allowing snorkeling. Backup plan. We found some folks who also wanted to snorkel here today, and they've got a car, and we're all gonna head over to Maho Beach. We've heard they're turtles. Welcome to Plan B, Maho Beach. It looks a lot calmer over here. We met the nicest people, Jimmy and Dana. We just kind of told them, we're like, oh, there's no snorkeling today. And they were like, oh, Maho's good, which we kind of wanted to come to anyway. They're like, do you need a ride? We're like, okay, you know, trust strangers, it's fine. Yeah. They're so sweet. They're staying on St. Thomas. They've rented a yeah. car for, you know, their stay here. So they <laughs> took the car barge over. Yeah. So they got wheels. Anyway, so this should be free admission. Yeah. Uh, pretty much guaranteed sea turtles. You know, you're talking our language now. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the kind of non-wave yeah. action that I'm looking for. So we both brought our water shoes. We're going to start off our adventure in non-water shoe mode today. There are some smooth-ish looking small rocks, and I think we'll be all right. Actually, you know what? This looks sandier down here. Let's use our brains and be smart. Oh, this water is warm. I love it. Man, the amount of grass out here. We were told that if you hit this beach and go to the right, there are red markers over there, which are turtle zones. And this, the, there are signs all over this beach that say turtle nesting beach. Turtle success. All right, our turtle ratio for the St. Thomas and surrounding area holds intact. This is the zone where we almost always see turtles. <laughs> We will just have a St. John spin while Dee sits there and looks at turtles. We hear people around us in other areas talking about turtles. Gosh. You've made a little friend already. Yeah. All right. Well, so happenstance, we've ended up in the right zone today. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, right? That's right. <laughs> We're going to slowly meander down toward these red markers that people keep telling us about. Lots of grass, lots of fish. I haven't found much in the way of rocks, so I'm glad I did not commit to water shoes today. I can be barefoot and free. Oh, you Oh, my gosh, it's an awesome hour. Yeah, we're just chilling. This is the nature party right oh here. Oh, my gosh, it's awesome. A stingray, it's a, a turtle, and turtle. D. Yeah. Don't get close to the stingray. No, no, I'm going to try to keep the distance. Oh. I'm over my head now, so I can't touch. Oh, I see him down there. The fish are bigger than the turtle. Yeah. This is a nice big beach, though. We came in down there on the right-hand side and walked all the way down, kind of found a place to plop our stuff. This is not the kind of beach where they're like, oh, hey, would you like a chair? That kind of thing. It's very much, you know, bring your own gear. Just plop down on the sand, bring a paddle board. I don't really know if there's even like restaurants or things like that around here. That's what I have to learn. I see some like condos in the distance, but not necessarily much in the way of facilities, which I kind of like, you know, the lesser, maybe lesser known beaches. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a spotting of a fairly substantially sized turtle out here now. Yeah, the water's getting a little more stirred up the deeper we come out here. There's not much in the way of waves though, but maybe some currents and things like that. That's cute. We're right next to each other. Why cute? 
Oh, funny. So there's two here. I just saw one pop up out there. Yeah, I think there's actually three in this zone, but the other one's like 30 feet that way. Well, of course they're friends. They're friends with each other. They're friends with Mermaid D. They're eating. Don't, don't eat Mermaid D. No, they're eating uh, something, aren't they? Uh, probably grassy stuff. <laughs> It made the noise. It did the thing. <laughs> okay, then you did the thing. What's up, boy? Oh, nice. I know, it come back and bop me. All right, we made it to the magical red buoy. I mean, we've already seen plenty of turtles on the way to the magical red buoys. I guess from here, we'll shoot toward, well, either the green, maybe the red. I feel like this is kind of like a boat lane, so maybe we should just stay on this side of these red buoys. What side? Uh, there's lots of like rocks and stuff out there. Yeah, probably like not crossing the red boundary line because I feel like that's boat traffic. Yeah, Asking you shall receive. Okay, magical red buoy did produce a turtle. Red buoy turtle. That's really funny. <laughs> you know, this turtle is taking her out to the magical red buoy. There is something about this buoy, I tell you. guys like turtle footage if not i'm sorry who doesn't like turtle footage i'm telling you i mean he's coming up right next to me how can you not like turtle footage Aww. okay the turtle went put and you went put at the same time that was ironic <laughs> so this is a record-breaking day for the single uh, yeah. highest number of different turtles seen at one location <laughs> absolutely for us oh because water island is good but you usually spend the day chasing around the same two or three turtles you know seeing the same ones over and over They're usually pretty big too yeah true all right we're gonna look both ways maybe take a jig across the boat lane because there's like you know four or five people snorkeling over there see what's up with these rocks yeah. So Trunk Bay will have to wait for another day. The highlight, I guess, at least for us, is there's like an underwater, I don't know if you call it a snorkel trail something like that i think my understanding is they have like numbered things and you follow your way around from marker to marker that kind of thing so you know one one time it would be good to go there when you can actually snorkel because being able to snorkel is a it, it's sort of a crucial part of snorkeling the snorkel trail but this has been a delightful find for today so all told it was about 15 per person for the taxi, eight per person for the ferry, nine per person for the second taxi, and then I guess we'll end up doing it all in reverse, so about another nine, eight, and 15. So just rounding up, 15, 25, 35, say about $70 round trip per person for us to have a day on our own in St. John. <laughs> Mermaid D, what have you gone to see? Oh no. You guys? I finally saw a shark. I shouldn't shout that right <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, it was sleeping. It's a nurse shark. So I was dry, uh, swimming by some rocks over there. And I had to do a, a, a double take because I was like, that's a shark. But it was sleeping, so I wasn't scared of it. And I went and filmed it like twice. But then wow. I gave it its piece. It's the first time ever. Yeah, I wasn't you... scared. I was so proud. Yeah, that's the first time that you've actually known. Of course, if it was swimming, I might have been no. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care. I want to go see it again, but I probably leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, 
Yep, you've never knowingly swam with a shark before, so good gracious. This place is awesome. <laughs> I will love it. We're making our way back down the beach now toward the grouping of trees where we left our stuff. Just kidding, we got distracted by more turtles. <laughs> you know how it is. We need all the gratuitous turtle footage. <laughs> This is the biggest one. Oh, there he is right there. I can see him. Yeah, so that's the largest one of the day. Wow. You're a good turtle to end on, pretending like we're not going to stay out here and, you know, find 67 more turtles. <laughs> now we are officially good with water mode. No. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Goodbye, pretty beach. We're gonna wander up here toward the main entrance now to see if we can locate a taxi type zone. Ah, we missed this when we came in. Just across the road, they've got a rental place and some stuff you can get food and whatnot. Cheers. Good deal. Oh, they've got the noodles here. There's a whole little village on this side we totally missed. So confirm there is a taxi zone here. You just walk up and say where you want to go. And we're going to hop on this little blue ride right ya. Side note, checking out the official rate sheet. Cruise Bay to Maho is $12 per person if you have two or more people, like we do. Landed back in St. John with just a few minutes until the next ferry out, so I think we'll run and catch that. I've already bought the tickets online. Yeah, there's a lot cute to see and do in St. John, but I have a feeling this is not going to be our last visit. Just have to come explore some of this another time. And yeah, there's a little beach right here by the ferry terminal. 4.05 p.m. Our ferry has arrived and the floodgates are open. made it back to the other side so if we go straight out here we should find a taxi dispatcher according to the sign anyway perfect alrighty we have been duly dispatched Back at Haven site, Norwegian Escape has docked with us. I'm not used to seeing Norwegian here. I thought they usually go to Crown Bag. Well, time to hop back on board our home. We are going to jump up to deck five in search of a quick snack. Well, it is just after five o'clock. This is an extremely, extremely late lunch for us. We got tomato mozzarella, mortadella, salami, ham and cheese, various cakes. Over here they've got the ham, the egg, the tuna. There's a brie sandwich, chicken pot pie, just a cheese sandwich. Salmon spinach quiche, prosciutto. D is gone blueberry yogurt thingamajig and a brie sandwich. And I grabbed a salmon and spinach quiche. We'll take a quick peek at the tree before we get out of here. Look at all these decorations. Well, that's as high as we're going to see from this side. We'll check it out later. To the elevators. Boom. Whoa. Good evening. Y'all, we are back on board and ready to go get some more food. Land speed records getting ready. That's true. <laughs> Fresh and clean out the shower. It is hot in here. It is, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump up and keep dinner casual. I'm in shorts mode, y'all, wow. which means... Scandalous. I had a sock of the day that would fit in perfectly with our dinner, but you know what? I'll just wear it tomorrow. He's too hot. I'm too hot for that. <laughs> uh, we're going to go try Alfredo's, yeah. which is the pizza pasta restaurant, mm -hmm. which is complimentary. It's included beverages aren't, but I guess if you have a plan, your beverages would be. But otherwise, you like you would pay for your beverages. True. Yeah. Um, but let's go do that. How was your day? Tell me all about your day. It we, was so great. We had to redo our plan, but it all worked yeah, out well. Yeah, that 
that was kind of a bummer at first, but I think it was meant to be, honestly. I saw the most turtles I've ever seen in my life. I think the most stingrays, too. Oh. A nurse shark, mm. a barracuda. I saw all sorts of stuff. It was awesome. A beautiful beach, really quiet, not overcrowded, it which was, was nice. Mm. I will say there are a lot of moving parts to get to St. John. Yeah. So I'm glad we tried it on a longer day. I don't know if I'd feel super comfortable with it on like a short day. Me neither. Because everything has to go right to get you back to the ship in time. Yeah. Not trying to scare you, but that's why we haven't tried it until now. Yeah, I think our overall process today <laughs> took us about seven hours by the mm -hmm. time, you know, when, well, from when we left time. to when we got back, but still. <laughs> but I'm saying our time at the beach and all that we stuff. We spent so like three hours at the beach. We could have done it, yeah, mm -hmm. on an eight or nine hour port day, mm -hmm. but mm, we were glad to have a 12 hour port day today. It was awesome though. Mm -hmm. And what'd you say, like 70 something? About $70 per person. Person. If you add it all up. Right, if you yeah. add both ways of transportation. So $140 for both of us to have a free daggone free form. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't free. Free. <laughs> free form, you know what I mean. You're not on a schedule. You can do right. what you want, that kind of excursion. Definitely, we'll go back again and hopefully, mm. you know, go to Trunk Bay. But I would yeah. go back tomorrow. And explore the town because, I mean, yeah. the park right there at Cruise Bay looked fun. And there's Cinnamon Bay also that's supposed to be there's really good. There's a lot of bays. So Just many go bays. there. I'm going to go to dinner with my bay. Bay, now. let's go to dinner. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> antipasto options that was the sort of more veggie forward option and I got the meat forward option more food has arrived he has gone for the pizza capricciano something like that it's the capri style pizza I guess we had to get the Hawaiian pizza y'all just look at its gloriousness oh it's amazing holy moly you can't turn this video off yet um, and the agnolotti. Oh, they're all set up for parrots in the piazza. I forgot that's happening in about 20 minutes. No, I don't know that they're, you're encouraged to really touch the ladies' parrots. <laughs> we saw this on Enchanted Princess. Yeah, it was back in Princess Live on that one. There she comes, adding more birds. Cute. I guess they do this like every time they come to St. Thomas. That's cool though. What if there's two princess ships? Then you half the birds on one, half the birds on the other. <laughs> we are gonna wander back to Princess Live. They should be in the middle of a Motown music trivia right now. They have musical bingo coming up soon though. You got it. Musical bingo. If not, run quickly to the front and grab one. We have Grammy Songs of the Year, songs from the movies, hits of the 60s, and dance and party songs. I am going to play you some songs. If you know the song, fabulous. If you have that song on your bingo card, cross it off. If you don't know the song, that's not a problem, because a couple songs later, the song title will appear on the screen. Ooh, the first pattern okay, is Emmy Seven here we Answers. Go. Grammy Songs of the Year. Oh, I only yes, got please. four. Right. We have a winner. Oh, there's another bingo. And for the second round, the oh, screen, what's our please. pattern? Single line, any direction. Ooh, I'm not doing good at this one. All right, we got a call for bingo already. Let's do it. They had four Bingo. bingos that round. Bingo. Ooh, a six pack for hits of the 60s. I'm gonna call for the bingo already, and it is not me. Bingo going three. All right, I only had one winner that time. And then turn your A 16 pack. Oh, it was only two away that time, but we got a call for bingo. And for the 
prizes have been journals so far. That is our big game, everybody. Thank you so much for playing. All right, folks. Well, as you know, it's karaoke time, everybody. So welcome to What The Heck Trivia. So what is this? What is What The Heck Trivia? It's very easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some images, some sounds, some videos, and you need to figure out what the heck is that. Can you recognize this though? Oh. oh, that was some fun trivia actually. All right, let's jump down. Oh, we're noticing more random Christmas decorations around the ship. Y'all, we have made our own room service snacks. We went to the International Cafe. I'm still hungry. I mean, 11.30 p.m. is a great time to go to the cafe, so. <laughs> we have come back to the cabin to find our patcher for tomorrow. Very dramatic. Good night. Good night. We are snacking in the cabin. Lunch. <laughs> Essentially. I think we already had lunch. Yeah. This is the other half of lunch. Yeah, there we go. We missed earlier. I don't know. Anyway, but we are going to bed. Mm -hmm. We have had a day. The uh, Alfredo's for dinner was actually pretty good. It um, was really good. There was a long wait to get in, which is, you yeah. know, sort of understandable sometimes. But it's included, mm -hmm. and it's decent. I like the pizza. I like the agnolotti. Yeah, the food came out pretty fast. Nice and hot and fresh and yummy. Can't beat it. Yeah. yeah, then we just did a bunch of games, yeah. trivias, stuff. There was a deck party upstairs, but it was kind of rainy. It was boring, yeah. <laughs> so, mm -mm, didn't do that. No, we um, did karaoke briefly as well. Yeah. So, really fun. I love that venue. Oh. You can just literally stay in there all night and do like three or four different things, if you want. <laughs> True. But now we're going to bed yeah. with sandwiches and watching The Love Boat on TV. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. so weird. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.